Uh, the uh, solution to this problem is a feature called um, generics which was um, added to the language in version 5. Now, you see what we uh, usually want is um, a list for example um, of some particular type rather than a list of objects. Now in the non-generic version we had to have object and um, cast everything um, to object in and so on so it could handle any type that we wanted to store. Now uh, the way generics gets around this is it allows us to specify what's called a type parameter and use that as a type in the uh, interface or class. Uh, then we, when we want to declare some field of that particular generic class or interface we specify an actual type uh, for the type parameter. Okay, and just to make that a bit clearer here's some um, the generic version of interface and um, what we've got here is um, this uh, E here which is uh, the uh, type parameter and it's between angle brackets like that and um, that stands for um, the particular type of, this, of the element being stored. So here when we're um, adding um, uh, to this list, uh, this particular index, um, the element here we declare to be of type E, so we're using E wherever we want to refer to the element type of the element being stored. And uh, here when we remove um, uh, remove some element at a particular index, uh, the value of return of course would be the, um, uh, the element that's been removed and so that would be of type E, so that's where we use E there. Uh, similarly the uh, list of course uh, extends collection and of course it's going to be a collection of the same type. So we use E again there. Now down here is uh, uh, the interface for uh, map and it's got uh, uh, two type parameters this time, uh, K and V. Uh, K for the key and V for the value. And uh, if we look down here at uh, put which is storing a particular key and value pair um, we can see we've used k for the type of the key and v for the type of the value and uh, what gets returned of course is the uh, previous value if there is one and so the return type is v. Um, you might wonder by the way why that is object there instead of uh, k for um, the uh, key type and um, the, the answer of course is it's a little bit more complex because um, uh, there was a design decision made because because MAP has existed under the old system, a pre-generic version, um, there was uh, some sort of compatibility issues and to minimize those it was decided to use object uh, for this particular call as opposed to uh, K. If you were doing it from scratch of course you would use K so don't worry too much about that. I'll, I'll go into that perhaps in the next uh, lecture so make it a bit clearer. And when it comes to actually uh, using these uh, uh, these particular list and interface and so on, um, here we've got here a list of strings. So when you want to specify a list of strings, you put string between the angle brackets, and that means that everywhere up here is going to be e is going to be basically string. And uh, uh, we're doing this as a array list, and uh, array list is a generic type as well, and um, specify string there for that, just like that. Uh, right, so that means that we can do things like add. Um, add by the way is in collection. Um, uh, we can add a string like that and it uh, adds it to the end of the list. Uh, but if we try and do something like this, uh, add 7, you're going to get a compiler error. And the reason for that is that um, 7 is a primitive uh, integer and so it's going to be boxed to um, primitive int I should say, so it's going to be boxed to integer and of course integer is not a string so that generates a compiler error. See under the previous non-generic version uh, you could get away with that and uh, in some later time if you tried extracting this thing and casting it to string you'd get a typecast error. Uh, right, uh, when it comes to extracting stuff if you want to get a particular value um, the compiler knows that it's holding strings so it will allow you to store it straight away into a string like that. So there's no casting, no explicit casting that is necessary.
and it turns out in fact that um, all the compiler really does is insert the correct casting everywhere and um, uh, also do some checking so for things like that you can check that it's valid all that is done automatically by the compiler now there is um, there's a technical term for this sort of um, uh, well basically it's a type of polymorphism and it's called um, parametric polymorphism now there's a couple of things to add um, first of all um, with generics if it um, compiles without any warnings uh, then you're guaranteed that there's going to be no runtime typecast errors and um, if you do get a warning uh, then the code is not guaranteed to be type safe uh, that means that um, a typecast error uh, may but not necessarily will happen at runtime okay that's what typecast safe means that's what type safe means I should say